Hey, Air Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your uh, reading for February 19th, 2019. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will start with Gemini. I'm going to tip you on down here so you guys can see your cards come out. Spirit guides and angels, what messages do you have for Gemini in love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? First card will be you. Oops. First card will be you, second card will be the person you're dealing with, third card will be outcome, bottom of the deck, shared energy. All right, what do our Gemini have in love for Tuesday, the 19th of February? All right, your guys' first card out is the Knight of Wands, could be dealing with a fire sign, um, but Gemini, this is your energy, so you could be very um, in and out, very flighty. I'm not really serious about uh, this relationship. What's the outcome? All right. The bottom of your guys' deck and shared energy is the Hierophant in reverse. Clarified by the High Priestess in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So you guys are just getting out of a relationship, um, a very traditional relationship. Um, you could have been... Uh, dealing, being on the other side of somebody, uh, sharing energy, you, your intuition was telling you what was going on. Um, but this is no longer keeping a secret about being a third party and it's bringing an end to a relationship. Um, you're very, like I said, very unsure about where to go from here. Um, with the Knight of wands. Yeah. You have a choice. You're unsure where to go from here. Uh, you are unsure if you want to, um, move forward with or without this person. The person you're dealing with is in swords and so they're stuck to lead heart and of taking a coach to the this is some kind of gave you older simply because they didn't know what to do. They're having a lot of stress over the situation. Um they're losing sleep over this connection. Because they're really not wanting this to uh end. Your guys' outcome of the day is strange. And I help but be on to that make the ground. So be cautious. This person could not have the best intentions for you. Um, so move forward in your own direction. Do what's best for you, Gemini. Yeah, with the three of you have the three of wands in verse. You fight all you need. To, okay. So you're this person is at a distance from you and you're trying to manifest them into your life, and it's just not working. Um, that's why you're not sure if you should continue to hang on or to move forward. There's a lot of inner conflict, but sorry, these cards are like foil, so they're really shiny. But there's a lot of inner conflict and a lot of people in this person's energy. They have a lot of options, but this is going to, this is, something's happening with this relationship that's going to cause the tower for you, Gemini. So, um... Make sure you remember how strong you are and to move forward in your own conviction. Um, do what's best for you. Make this decision that is best for the outcome in your own life. And what's meant for you will come back around for you. All right. I will pull um, angel cards here at the end as well for each one of you guys. Um, actually, I think I'm going to pull Sacred Traveler cards for you guys for something different. All right, Libra, let's see what you got. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Same thing. First card, you. Second card, your person. Third card, your outcome. Bottom of the deck, your shared energy. Libra. 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 All right, you have the devil in reverse. Escaping a toxic situation, Libra's person, um, breaking the ties and the bonds, freeing yourself from something that you felt you had to have. Uh, your person is a two of pentacles in reverse. This is a very unhealthy relationship. A lot of outside people. Um, this is very toxic, but you're breaking free from that, Libra. Um, and when you do, you're going to need this four swords energy of healing. Your bottom of the deck is Lovers, um, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So um, having a choice in love 
uh, having a choice between whether to stay by this person after a third party situation um, has occurred. And uh, you're just slowly moving forward, not knowing quite sure what to do or what choice to make yet. So you're just really moving in a slow manner, um, trying to figure out what what to do, where to go from here. Um, for some of you, you could have been like in a treatment center or something, getting help for this addiction or getting help for a addiction. And while you were away, this person could have had a third party. That's just for, you know, a certain group of you, but mostly, yeah, this is breaking free from a toxic relationship and having to go within and decide which, um, which direction you're going to move. This is manifesting, manifesting a new life. Um, after breaking free from some toxicity, your person, the two of pentacles, they were juggling, um, some energy here. Uh, that's way too many. Let's just get one, please. With the two of pentacles in reverse, the fool, it did come out sideways. So it is a challenge to give this person a new beginning. Um, I do see them setting out on their own. Um, and that's why you're going to need some healing Libra. You need to take some time to yourself and heal your mind, body, and soul. Why is the four swords here for Libra? Yeah, the seven of wands. You're feeling very vulnerable. You do have a new beginning, however, with the ace of pentacles there. Um, you're feeling very vulnerable. You feel very hurt, betrayed. Um, you were fighting for this relationship, and all along, they were not. So um, overall, you're just going to need some healing over um, somebody that you loved who really betrayed you. Um, and really breaking free from that bond, Libra. All right, Aquarius. All right. You have the three of swords and the star as your energy. Your person is the chariot in reverse and the outcome for the day is the judgment card. Your bottom of the deck is death in reverse, clarified by the two of swords in reverse and the knight of pentacles as well. So, all right. So, um, trying to keep a transformation from happening, trying to keep an end from happening. Um, you are needing to make a choice of where to go from here. Um, but you're scared to make that choice because you just want it to be, um, okay. You just want it to be a stable um, outcome and you're really fearing the unknown right now. You're really fearing where this is heading. Um, you do have a broken heart today that needs some healing. Um, you're trying to ignore your broken heart instead of dealing with the pain, but um, it's not going to get easier that way. The person that you're dealing with, they are at a halt. They are not moving forward. Um, this is also like feeling they feel out of control and the judgment is here. Um, Let's see if that judgment, what way that judgment is going for you. Why is the three of swords and the star card here for Aquarius? Thank you. All right. The six of swords and the nine of wands in reverse, giving up the fight, no longer fighting for this situation. You are going to move forward and into more calmer waters. Um, you just need to heal from that, uh, that pain that that heart, those swords are causing. And a lot of you, this is the thought of that pain that is hurting you so bad. Um, and you're, you're holding off going through this transformation because it hurts. You don't want to deal with the pain because it hurts too bad. Why is the chariot here in reverse? The five of pentacles. Yeah, they're leaving you out in the cold um, by not coming towards you. They're not being honest with you about what's going on. They're intentionally leaving you in the dark and that's really hurting your feelings. Why is the judgment here as the outcome? The lovers. Yeah. So um, this is what's bottom of the deck, two of wands. So you're manifesting a new path. Um, somebody who you love, um, who you didn't think would hurt you is here um, with the judgment card. Now the outcome is coming back together with somebody you truly love. But what is holding you up, Aquarius, is this t transformation. You have to deal with this heartache and you have to deal with this pain and heal from it before this person can move forward. And that's why their chariot is halted because they can't come towards you. They can't move towards you until you allow this healing. 
And when you do, Archangel Michael will put the two of you back together again. But you have to deal with this. You have to move forward in um, the Six of Swords and heal. Find some emotional healing and the two of you will come back together down the road as soon as you allow that spiritual transformation to happen for you, Aquarius. All right, let's see what our Sacred Traveler has for us today. This is a beautiful deck by um, Denise Lynn. I'll show you guys the box. It is an awesome, awesome deck. If you guys are interested in, um, in these cards. So let's start with Gemini. Let's see what Gemini has for today. The 19th of February. What advice do you want to give them? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. Amazing. Oops. All right. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. And I believe, uh, Gemini, weren't you the one that had the strength card as your outcome? I do believe so. Libra. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. And Aquarius. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. All right. So, uh, Gemini, you are strong beyond measure. Stepping in to, uh, into your power. This is an amazing uh, card because uh, it's time to take back your power and stand in your own light. You see that uh, the sacred traveler there is holding his lantern. Even if the burden seems heavy to you, it's only making you stronger. So if you're, um, uh, it's time to, it's time to take back your power and stand up for yourself. My goodness. I couldn't, I couldn't spit that out. Um, the challenges you faced are making you only stronger and, and you no longer need to live your life for others. Um, and it's encouraging you to light your light your lantern and walk in your truth because it's only going to uh, illuminate the path for others to follow you or to walk beside you. So right now you're being called to to um, step into your power and to embrace it. Um, Libra, you guys have embracing enthusiasm. Uh, shout to the heavens with happiness. So uh, you're you are being called to. Uh, no longer stand on the sidelines. No, no need to wait any longer. It's time to heal your life and to reach your goals. So um, you need to take some risks. You need to put yourself out there. Um, shout to the heavens with joy. Uh, be silly. Don't hold back. Allow your childlike wonder to really flood your life. Um, it's time to experience and celebrate even the smallest events in life and discover what is great about each day. It's not time to be reserved or to look at what's going wrong. Um, it's really time to stop and smell the flowers, to allow yourself to um, enjoy the little things. And those are soon going to turn into very big blessings for, for um, you Libras. And for Aquarius, you guys have rainbow blessings. Um, blessings are showering your life. So blessings in all forms are cascading into your life. Just as the rainbow has all the colors in the spectrum, uh, every hue of your life is a blessing. This is a great time to start a project, to initiate a relationship, um, to buy a house, to begin a, a health program, to start a new job. Uh, it's time to let go of hesitations and concerns. And whatever you dream of in your future, it's time to start moving in that direction because your life is going to be very blessed, um, in every movement that you make. So, all right, air signs. That's all I have for you for Tuesday. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.